All right, now welcome to SC Custom Designs, where you never know where somebody might just walk right across the screen. Welcome to SC Custom Designs. We are officially uh, jointing the legs uh, that we just unclamped. If this is the first time you're, you're, you're uh, tuning in, this is the series on the awesome office table made from a sign uh, for Mr. Ludus Harba. A company called the works um, that he started and was extremely successful around the globe as his footprint everywhere so at any rate this is not a video for the works this is a video making him his his table now I've had pieces lying around for a long time and putting them together it was just the thing that I did this weekend and I set the glass on top of two pieces you look that series up that part in the series then I glued up um, these oak boards. I want to show you how rough this is, what, what I took it from. So it looked like this. See, hopefully you're seeing all that. I mean, it's in some pretty rough condition there to this. Look at that, my friends. Absolutely. Now, you know, squares don't lie. Let's get the square out. absolutely square my friends absolutely beautiful hopefully that's coming in for you absolutely gorgeous so at any rate um, the jointer I have a jet jointer I don't know how old he is he was a gift this jet jointer I couldn't afford to buy one of these uh, I was buying other stuff bandsaws and this and that and the other and I bought a bench top um, and a gentleman came over and purchased that from him, from me, um, which was nice. And then I could get some other things, but this was a gift. This is solid. Uh, this is a jet equipment tool, six inch long bed, woodworking jointer, model JJ6CS. All right, three quarter horsepower, 115, 230 volt, pre-wired for 115. All right, so I'm, I'm so happy to have something like this. Between this and my uh, planer, um, I'm all set to go. So can you imagine? I mean, you probably can, especially the older guys planing this guy, right? And But this is taking care of that for me. I'm telling you, this is like butter right now. I'm elated. Um, I don't do, I'm not sponsored by this, this product, this company here, but th this here is very good. Uh, blaster pro grade multi purpose lubricant um, Teflon since 1957. Um, and so that's my doorbell. <laughs> um, this is just a no brainer. Put that on your bed. Okay. This is really, really smooth right now. The first couple of passes I went through there, more like the first 25 passes, it dawned on me that I should lubricate it again. Okay. But this machine, for all intents and purposes, is new to me. All right, so I wanted to bring you online. I've got three more to go. No, I'm not going to do a series planing all of these, okay? Jointing all of these, sorry. It's kind of like planing. Um, but we're just going to finish this guy up. So I did this surface and this surface. So we need to be mindful of that. Now, at first, these, this board was really bad, in bad shape. I put it against the side, of course this is 45, made sure of that, um, and it, for all intents and purposes, it was like this, okay, it's like, it's like a little bit like that. So I had, the tip for you um, is that I push against the fence, I push down slightly, it's heavy enough, but, and, but push against the fence to keep the blocks square and have a lot of patience pushing it through. All right. Make, take as many passes as you possibly can. Just This is nothing you want to rush. All right. Um, now, as I, now that I know this is square and this is square, I flip it, and I'm going to go over like this. And the same, same uh, process. Now, this here, board here is quite high, so he'll be the first to go. This guy right here, I don't know if you can see it. All right. But what I do do is I take a pencil and I just mark across 
And that is your telltale sign what's getting jointed and what's not. Okay, that's very important to do. Very, very important. All right. I learned how to do these some of these things in Israel. Uh, I went to Chavatanur uh, Hatzioni Absorption Center for kids that came around the world back to Israel. I lived there for six years. So Shalom to all the friends Hello to all my friends in the in the, the nation there. So all right, let's go ahead. Hopefully, I explained enough. All right, and another tip which you're going to catch on, you're going to come through nice and steady. You, you never stop, right? You, you, you go as steady as you can. And again, lubricating the bed is important. You're not going to finish the end the same speed that you did most of your board with. You're going to slow way down. Let your ears do the thinking for you, okay? Because you're going to hear it start to get quite aggressive in the back there. And if you don't slow down, you're going to get, you're right, snipe. All right. I actually got a tea bit of snipe on this, which is, um, which is visible, very visible to me. But that's going to come out. It's, it's right here. Very, that'll sand right out. Not a problem. All right. So I am new at this. Okay. I set this up last summer, actually, I think. And we're in 2018, 2019 now. You know, the end of 2019, and now I'm using it. Oh my God, what a saver. All right, Steve, shut up, get, get working, right? Let's go ahead and do that. All right, again, square, square. Make sure you have the reference point. And therefore, you're going to um, square, square, flip. Okay. All right, let's have at it. Keep your mind when you're doing this. A nice channel. <laughs> nothing but commercials the entire time that's the trouble with radio i thought i'd stop so we can give you a little bit of uh an update report okay um so we have quite smooth back here at the rear all right in the front here um it's we're, we're, we're getting there we're not quite there 
So let's see. Let's put the lines back on there, okay? All right, so this board here has to get out. I'm going to not wear these things it's not as loud as you think because I want to listen uh, to what's happening with the wood. It's quite important when you're doing this, when you're jointing. <laughs> pointed this out at the beginning of the video for demo demo purposes I did remove the guard I know I'm gonna hear about it <laughs> for my subscribers but I'm happy you want me to be safe don't do things like this if you don't feel safe it's very important to feel safe all right so technically you should have this guy on all right so that when you pass through he closes the gap on you and your hands are going to be as safe as they possibly can be I'm going to argue that even with this on you could have a lot of damage done to your hands. But that being said, I should have covered that at the very beginning. <clears throat> All right, so what I did is I, I turned it around because I wanted to get a little bit more aggressively at um, this area here. <clears throat> and I'm gonna do that again, okay? So, you know, we started off in this orientation like this and then we flipped it over, all right? And so, what I'm going to do is turn it like this, and I'm going to get a little, get that area down here.
Very happy, man. This thing is just doing a great job. Nobody's going to appreciate this more than me. And the customer, of course. So, once again, perfection, my friends. This is why you need a jointer. Absolutely. What a joy. All right, so I have one more side to finish. All right, and that would be this side here. Now, in theory, I could throw it in a planer. I'm just going to finish uh, planing it here. We're jointing, but we'll finish planing it here. All right, so I'm going to go with the, the side that I had absolutely, that I started out making, you know, square. And I'm going to be pushing that against the fence. So you can't get inside of my head, so let me just try to talk some of this out, what I'm doing. Um, essentially, uh, I did talk out some of this. Um, I'm very gently pushing on the stock to get it across the blades. Then I start putting pressure here on this side so that it rides on this Nice and gentle, not putting a lot of pressure down here, okay? Um, and I'm pushing this way. I'm going to tell you that I'm pushing more against the fence this way because I want to keep the squareness, right, as I'm pushing it through. All right, so let's do the same thing. Take your pencil, score across like so. As much as you want, so you can... See what the world's going on now. All right. And bloosh. Bloosh. This way. Okay. Just eyeball it down here, make sure we're good. And we are. Almost done, friends. Steve is happy talking in the third person. I was talking in the third person in a QA software meeting this weekend, brought a few laughs. Oh my God, absolutely tremendous. So we've gone from, I'm gonna take you off the mount so hopefully you're gonna you can appreciate this. All right, so hopefully you let your ears do a lot of the, uh, the thinking for you. You're gonna slow down or speed up or do whatever. All right, so according to what you hear, I am really happy. When you consider that I started off with, um, that was the worst board, by the way. Let me take you off the mount, then we'll finish this up. Again, you're watching it. Appreciate if you subscribe to our channel. If you like what you see, uh, SE Custom Designs. This is the episode on the cool office table, super cool office table. And we are now, uh, we joined up the, the boards. And uh, this is what they look like before. Oy vey, right? Pretty bad. That's pretty rough shape, huh? All right. And I had to join them up. So, and we turned it into this. So, 
this one here had was really really bad these boards really uh, walked on me so now look at this look at this my friends so now you know I'm at the stage of the game where I need to think about the orientation of the leg all right so um, I did a really a decent job actually on aligning the boards so they look like one board Okay, not so much the other side. Wasn't much I can do about that. Um, it is what it is. However, so obviously this this here board will be a, uh, where the customer will see this board here, like this. All right, I have a feeling he's actually going to go like this, and I'm going to be tapering the legs. So I think like this, and it's going to be beautiful. All right, thanks for watching the the episode. Super awesome co coffee table. It's because of designs. I got a lot of planning to do. I didn't say complaining. So a lot of a lot of jointing to do. Take care. God bless. Next thing we're gonna be doing uh, will be tapering. Um, I'm gonna use this 19.99 something. I mean 23 bucks maybe for this tapering jig. This tapering jig uh, is used on your table saw. You simply come over and you set it on your table saw against your fence and, and you go through. Uh, you could do it in a number of other ways. You could eyeball it, you know, line it up, draw the line on there, put it through your, uh, your bandsaw. I'm going to use the jig. So essentially this is what it's going to do for me. It makes these tapers. This is actually an extra leg from the sewing table I've made my wife. Um, so that's what that does. Thank you. Take care. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get to work.